there's so many exciting innovations in beauty at the moment. There's so many technologies being developed and, and I just want to be on top of them all. I want to be at the forefront. I think in the future, success will be a slightly different definition. Um, I think I'd like to see a lot more balance in my life and that, that will be, that's one of my aims. When you have your own business, you do tend to focus most of your energy around it. Um, so, you know, I try to shut off on weekends. I do work very late, uh, so during the week there's, there's not much balance going on there. Yeah. Um, but, um, but on the weekends I try to shut off and, you know, spend time with friends and family and, um, and do all those normal things yeah. that uh, you forget to do during the week. And um, I guess that's really one of, the, one of the areas that I need to develop a little bit as well to make sure that I do shut down and, and uh, get on with a normal life outside of work as well. I think women are really looking for products that give them real results results that they can see, not empty promises. And that's where Freeze Frame has been such a successful product for us because the minute you apply it to your skin, you see a difference. There's no waiting around. There's probably a two to three minute wait as it dries, but you're basically putting this product on and you look 10, 20 years younger. Every single trace of a wrinkle or puffiness just disappears before, before the customer's eyes. So, you know, if people are looking for that results they're getting instant gratification with it but even the long-term results of freeze frame are quite fast it makes a significant difference in in wrinkles long term in just 28 days so people are getting that that sense of wow this product really works and they're getting that very quickly with it and it seems to be that it's becoming quite normal for for people to do this what happens in the future if 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 there's a discovery that it's got a negative health effect you know, time will only tell. Um, it is, you know, a lot of these things are chemicals that we're putting into our bodies and, you know, there's, there's always going to be two camps. There's going to be the side that thinks, well, I just want to look good for as long as I can and I'll do anything to do that. You know, it's kind of a little bit, you know, I'm, I'm here for a good time, not a, not a long time. So if there's a negative effect on their body, they're not so concerned. They're just wanting to you know, feel good about themselves and look good. And then there's the people who just wouldn't consider something like that because they're very conscious of what they put into their bodies and, you know, or if they don't like injections, then um, I think those two are always going to be divided and never see eye to eye. So there's always going to be people who are accepting of it and there's always going to be people who think that it just shouldn't be happening. I don't have a problem with it other than, you know, it is a chemical. I think there needs to be more research done. Um, but I think if something makes someone feel better about themselves, I don't see that there's a problem with it. But I think it's important that there are alternatives out there, that people can get great results without having to take that extra step that they're not comfortable with. So I, I think that it's important that, that development is done in that area, that there are less invasive ways of achieving similar results. Ambitious, I think ambitious, loyal. Um, uh, I don't think that they would describe me uh, completely around my career. I think that they would talk about me in terms of, of the friendship that, that I have with them because I, I try to be a good friend and be supportive and, and leave my work at work. So I don't tend to talk about my business very much with my friends. Um, when we go out, I just want to have fun with them and be with them and be present in that moment. So I think they'd describe me as 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 loving and supportive and loyal and, and hopefully a good friend. Well, the biggest lesson I, I had in business was, happened when the Pam Pharmaceuticals debacle happened. Um, basically, there was a huge recall, a product recall, of all products that were manufactured by Pan Laboratories. And uh, they manufactured most of our product. So we were in a very difficult position of being off the shelf for three months, having to recall of all, all of our product, and it cost a lot of money for us. So I guess the key lesson would have been to diversify, um, to make sure that not all your eggs are in one basket, that uh, you know, if you're manufacturing, um, you know, have a few people do the manufacturing for you, not just one, because if something goes wrong, then, uh, then you're in trouble.